beginning of every training cycle is uh, really rough for me because my strength is way down. My ability to handle volume is way down. And it's frustrating sometimes. Today I was supposed to do four sets of 10 on front squat. So I loaded on 135. I got six reps before the thing fell out of my shoulders because of my terrible mobility. Figured no biggie. I'll just do pause back squats. Couldn't even do a set of eight with 185. And last week I was doing triples with 335. A little bit of a pause at the bottom. So big contrast in strength. But you know the principle still applies. Your body will adapt over time. So right now I have been adapted to really low volume, high intensity workouts, very specific. Now I have to give it a couple of weeks, three, four, five, maybe six weeks before I adapt to doing the volume work again. So that means kind of doing away with my pride for the moment and just getting the work done. And that means 135 squats. Set to 12, baby. Got to get them done. There's a wise old man, his name is Paul. He told me to practice the way I play. So you will see full depth today. You might know the embarrassment of being stuck on really lightweight. But whatever. If I have a choice between being impressive now and being more impressive later, I'm gonna choose that every time. So this week is kind of the preamble to my program, which is 16 weeks. And that means that these first six weeks will be the lightest weight with the highest volume. So today's supposed to be light. It's all about increasing work capacity in the muscle groups. And my squat day is all about my quads. And so while my squat is terrible and weak right now, it even hurts, that means I can devote more time to the variations, which I never do. In the beginning of my cycle, I'm gonna be doing a lot of leg press a lot of extensions, even those weird leg spreader and leg bring them together machines that you just feel terrible using in public. I'm going to do, because it's six in the morning and I got the gym to myself. JK, everybody knows I'll get on that machine and stare right at you while I do it. So that's about it for me. The purpose of this video is just to show that uh, I got stung by the humble bee in some ways, that right after you are your strongest, you're very specific, you're doing what you're good at in that peaking cycle, you gotta come back and work on all your weaknesses. And that means lowering the weight a ton and kinda sucking up your pride a little bit. Because I know the work on my weaknesses and building muscle in areas where I haven't before and all of this tedious work it's going to pay off in a bigger PR in the end. And so, always looking forward to the next step. Can't wait to start doing fives again. Once I'm there, can't wait to peak again. But at this point, it's time to, to heal up from all the heavy lifting and just enjoy some more bodybuilding style work. All right guys, I'm Sutton Hay. Keep coming back.